Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be going back out into the chicken coop again and we're going to be shop vac vacuuming the entire thing. A couple videos ago I did a refreshing the coop floor video and as far as dust that was not enough. So we've got to go back in there and vacuum all the dust off the walls and the shelves. Now one of the reasons why I haven't done this before is because I had a shop vac but it did not have a filter so every time I would try to vacuum it all of the dust would go right back into the coop. So I bought a new shop vac and that's what we're going to be using. It does have a filter so we can empty it and clean it as we go along and even replace the filters as they get dirty. Now it's only a little bitty baby. My last one was a lot bigger but we're just going to see if this one does the job. I'm going to show you guys the filter. Uh, I am going to bring my mask and some gloves because I've got rats and mice in the garage and in the chicken coop and they scatter over everything so we're not going to take a chance on things that we touch. Okay so we are in the chicken coop and what I mean by dust is all the dust that's along here. I mean quite literally there's tons and tons of dust just all of that when blown around by a fan gets into the air these dust particles get into the chicken's nose it's all over the walls every time i come in here and look up there all you could see is all these dust particles there's just tons that's diatomaceous earth so that's not really dust but like right i don't know if you can see it particles of dust look at all all right there that's in the entire coop. Uh, that's what we're trying to prevent. Even stuff like there's just a bunch of dust on there. What are you doing up there? Oh, there's that. What are you doing? This is Lydia. She's my favorite of the new chicks. She just wants some food. You gonna jump down? What are you doing? See, they want the food that's up there. Now that I brought the shop back in here, I'm gonna go to the garage and get the door. I'm gonna let them out into the tunnels just in case they want to get away from all of this dust. And then we're gonna get started. I'm gonna also be wearing these goggles so that none of the dust gets in my eyes. I plugged it in. I have a extension cord, actually two of them that we're gonna be using throughout this whole chicken coop. All right, it's coming along, but quite honestly, this is not a traditional chicken coop and I cannot wait until I get my new coop up because then all of this extra work is not going to have to be done. An outdoor coop is going to be mostly outdoors with just their roosting and nesting coop inside that coop. So this whole big building won't even need to be cleaned. It's like a garage in here and it collects dust. It's got holes in all the corners. It's just not a correct chicken coop. So there's a lot of extra work that goes into this and I'm not liking it. So we need to get that extra chicken coop up ASAP. If anything, I can put like some kind of a door or window right here to let more maybe ventilation through. Maybe put one there as well as there. Maybe to not have so much dust going throughout this coop because these open doors aren't really doing much and this ventilation area up there isn't doing much either because it's also closed off with some chicken wire which kind of makes it hard for just the ventilation to go through. So we're gonna have to do something if I can't get that coop up sooner than I want and get these girls dust free in this coop. Now one thing I am able to get is a lot of the 
spider webs that are in here. I was not really dusting or doing anything with them before. I was just letting them live in here, but overall, getting them out of here, it's a cleaner place for the chickens. It's a cleaner place for me to walk in and take care of them. I think the spider webs are gonna have to go. I did not do that one as well as I could have because the suction is not sucking up the dust in the attachments that I have. So I don't know how else to do it, but to take like Windex to it, wipe it down. I don't wanna bring a hose in here and w wipe all of that down because then it's gonna get all of the flooring wet. A couple of videos ago, we refreshed the flooring so that it was fresh horse pellets and not stuff that was soiled with water. So we don't want the water in here if we can help it. So I'm not gonna bring a hose in here. All right, I want to show you guys the filter. I had emptied it once already, but this is how dirty. This is how dirty. It's like so filthy. So what I'm going to do is take this off. And then we're going to put it back on because then once we go and do this again, we're going to want a clean filter. I'm probably just going to put all of this into the mulch pile. That's a lot of dust, but I did empty this once before, so there was a lot more than this. I'm going to empty this. So a couple of the things I want to point on is that, number one, I did not like wearing that mask. It got hot in there and the, the goggles would fog up and just the, it was hard to breathe. However, it did, you know, save me from getting the dust in my eyes or my nose. I didn't like the fact that I have a small shop vac and that made me dump it out more frequently because it's it wasn't big enough so that's fine the more that I do it I think that have less dust in there to get rid of so that's a good thing about this another thing is I am looking to build my chicken coop in this area right here I'm gonna be taking this whole thing away they do not need that much room inside there and it's just way too much room for me to block all the holes and try to make it predator proof so we're gonna make a new coop out there with a roosting coop on the inside of it so that there that will be their entire coop this will come down and the lean-to will become a lean-to again so I won't have to be dusting much longer as long as I get that coop up that is all still in the works so if you guys like this video please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button below and click the notifications bell so you can receive a notification every time I post a new video which is every Sunday thank you guys so much for watching I will see you in the next video Today we've got to go back out into the chicken coop and we're going to be shop vac vacuuming the entire coop because a couple videos ago I did ref blah. I did refresh the don't put any I do not have a shop vac. Well, I don't put any of them and take care of them. So I think the chicken don't put that and we can empty it as we clean and it'll just keep refilling and hopefully all of the dust will be out of there. I can also go in there once a month and do this just to get all of the, don't put any of this. Use it as a blower, a leaf blower. Uh, I could have, it just, don't put any of this.